So this girl on Facebook has been bugging me to tell my vegan story. Her name is Isabel Tam. You know what? I'm going to do it. Because you can't ignore someone's passion like that. And I've been really, really busy. But New Year's Eve, I'm chilling out on my own tonight, purposely setting some intentions for the year. And I thought, you know what? Why don't I sling that in there? Do you know what I mean? To just like throw that out. So, uh, but I'm going to do it with a bit of a twist, you see. I'm going to do it to some hip hop. So I'm going to pause while I set this up. You can just look at my beautiful face while I do that. Hang on. So here we go. <laughs> yes, I. This is my vegan story as best I remember. Let truth be told. I have no idea how this is even going to go. I've not even heard this beat before. So I open up the fucking wide doors to see the truth come. My vegan story, this is number one. So I was born on a cancel estate. I was killing animals belong to my mate. I didn't even know what a vegan was. I thought it was an alien or someone from Oz. I had no idea that they didn't eat animals. Everyone eats animals. We all eat animals. Every human that I met till that point was eating animals every day and night. Then I met this girl. She was a vegan. And I spilled some oxtail soup in her thing. She cried again and again. She's like, why would you poison my food? I'm like, shit, man. She must be on the period. She's in such a bad mood. But fuck it. I didn't understand. I thought a vegan was some kind of alien plan. But then I grew up and I started to see. You don't have to eat meat. G, you know what I'm saying? It's really clear. I started to wise up when I got sick with fear. I'm like, damn, I'm eating all this food. I've got an ulcer. It makes me feel so weak and just blue and down and depressed. It was crazy. Then I got fat and fat like the rest of them meat-eating folks. Mate, it wasn't a joke. Then I got an ulcer. I went to my girl. She said to me, you need to get out of hell. Go to Thailand and do a fast. And then you'll be all right, man. Trust me, it lasts. So I went and did a fast and I lost a load of weight. And out come all this blubber and I think enough and fork on the plate. The whole thing went down and I was feeling kind of good. But then the cravings hit. You know they would. I'm binging, I'm binging on the junk food again. I'm not a vegan and I'm not with them. I was hanging out in the middle for years on my own. Trying to figure out how to get out the fucking death throne. I tried, I tried, but the cravings, they come back back and I'm eating all these animals but I'm feeling so whack I feel not like as bad as before but worse because now I'm guilty and I can see my flaws I'm eating the meat trying to be a vegan stretching all my body and my being and everything like I feed them I'm feeding the world with this pain it's my own pain coming out on the plate get again and again you know what I'm saying folks I tell you it gets old so I just took a step back and I thought, I can do this. And I tried again. So I went into rehab in a vegan place. I stayed there for three months and they put food in my face. Tomatoes and lentils and all these other things. And it felt really good. And I got really thin. But then I came out. I learned nothing. I was on my own. A grown man. I can't feed myself a fucking bone. I'm eating all these animals again and again. I was like, oh, I give up, man. Fuck it, I'm not zen. So I went back to this place, I signed the name again. I went back, did the program two times again. And every time I come out, I slept back to eating meat. I tried to find the problem in my head to my feet. And then I discovered Raw, and I went with that crew. Travelling around the States, man, feeling really wahoo. Hanging out with all them bods, do you know who I mean? Eating avocados and nuts like you've seen. And dates and all these other special sexual foods. Maca cacao and all those other foods i'm like yeah i'm a raw vegan and this is really good but when i was on my own i started to eat the fucking animals again every time every time i went back that in and out burger in california i was in and out in and out jack i couldn't stop myself from feeding all this way and i'm like damn this is like hell just take me away but i was not the kind of bread to give up 
I kept on trying to find a way, man. I never shut up. I'm gonna solve this. I'm gonna become a vegan too. And I ended up in Chiang Mai with a bicycle or two. And I met all these people that showed me how to do it right. I needed to eat the fruits from fucking day to night. I needed to carve up and get that stuff in my bod. And we're all sitting together, giving me the nod. Cause I'm feeding myself like a vegan true. I don't eat none of that crap. I'm not like you. If you're watching this and you're still eating meat, listen to the beat. Listen to the beat. You don't need the meat to be big and strong. You don't need the meat to be right or wrong. It's just a way for you to come alive. Because when you put the vegetables in, they do shit at night. And the fruits too. They fill your body good. They make you feel so high like you know you could. So I'm telling you now, that's my vegan story condensed. Then let me see you cross over that vegan fence. Thank <laughs> you.